everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today i have something very exciting it is new pen day i recently placed an order with gold spot pens it's my very first time ordering from them so we will see how this goes inside we have what i would assume to be the receipt yes and then we have Ooh. So it looks like they sent me a catalog and my pen. This is cool. Whoa. This is super cool. Wow. Oh, this is not going to help my wallet because I'm going to read all of these. That's really cool. So I got my very first Bennu pen. This was 100% an impulse purchase. I saw the Sakura edition come out on, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, and I thought about it for a, a few hours, but then I was like, I'll just give it some time until after work. But by the time like I signed off of work, the broad nib was already sold out. And I was just like, I need to have the medium. I just have to have it. I don't know what I would do if it sold out. And I am going to credit Simone for her recent Bennu pen purchases and reviews on her YouTube channel for basically being the inspiration for why I went for the splurge and hope that like it would be a good pen. So I'm really nervous because I've never spontaneously purchased a pen without thinking about it for, I don't know, like several days. And I always kind of felt like Bennu's were very flashy, very gaudy. I was looking through their selection because I was thinking like, everybody's been talking about them, but I haven't seen a design that I particularly enjoyed. So I'm afraid that this one it's gonna be too much or it's gonna be perfect i don't know okay let's find out oh this is so cute it's like a little little article about the inspiration behind the pen design. This was an exclusive to Gold Spot, and this was my very first purchase with them. So I was able to use the... I signed up for their email list and I got a little bit of a coupon to get a discount on this. So if you ever... If you're a new customer for them, make sure you check out their email list first if you want a little bit of money off. I really think it's awesome that they include something like this. This is the warranty. Product care. Avoid strong shocks. Avoid contact with abrasive materials. To produce our pens, we use highly durable and scratch-resistant resin. Okay. Avoid overheating and keep out of reach of children. Uh, that's funny. I mean, I guess, like, because children, they could damage a nib or something. Okay. Oh, this is long. I think this is, like, a standard international long cartridge. And then there's like a little bit of filler. I do like that everything is like paper because at first, I, I mean, I still adore fancy packaging, but sometimes when you buy enough pens, it adds up and you don't have enough space for storage. But like this seems nice and thoughtful. Like I've definitely bought pens that were more expensive than this and they did not come with like a fancy backstory on the legend behind Japanese cherry blossoms. So I think that's really cool that they add that touch. 
Okay. Now the pen. Ooh. <laughs> Is it getting captured on the camera? I think it's a little darker on camera. It reminds me of cotton candy, which I thought it was almost too like obnoxious, but this doesn't look that bad. So it has little specks of, what is that, confetti? Which at first I thought was very childish, but now it just looks really nice. So it's been new, debossed into this part of the cap. The cap is not, it's not a flat top. This, this clip is amazing. Why is it, why is it not like this on other pens? That's awesome. I did watch a few reviews that said like, their clip was pretty sweet. It's said to have Sakura infused in the resin. I'm not quite sure how they did that or if it would be visible. Anyway. Ooh. It's actually really lightweight. I don't know why I thought watching these videos. I mean, I guess I could look at the weight and I should weigh my existing collection of pens so I have reference, but I just haven't. You know how it goes, but this is really lightweight. I didn't think it would be just from like observation, but <laughs> okay. Nothing spectacular about the cap. I got a medium nib. This is a stainless steel nib, number six Schmidt nib. So that's pretty cool. Wow. These threads are large. I like that this is all blue. Oh, sweet. It comes with a converter, so that's really great. That means I can ink it up. The last few pens that I've got, I've had to use the cartridge first, and it's not as fun, but... Apparently you can eyedropper this too but i wouldn't do that only because i don't need that much ink in one pen i found out that i thought i did at the beginning of my fountain pen journey i was like more ink equals better or like the longer i can hold ink for but now i switch my inks so often that that's not really a priority for me i'm gonna have to flush it out because that's always good practice to Wash out your pens before you use them for the first time. And then I'll come back and do a writing sample. So while that nib unit is drying, I want to show you a comparison of its length compared to other pens. We have the Caveco Sport, a Platinum Curados, and then the Pilot A95S. Here's a Twisby Eco. It's pretty in line with the Twisby. Okay, so for all of my pens now, whenever I test them for the first time, I like to use a Pilot Iroshi Zuku ink because they are so well behaved and trustworthy. And I usually use Takesumi, which is actually my first ink bottle. But because of this color, I'm gonna use Kompeki, which is the only other Pilot 
ink I have, and actually my second bottle of ink that I've ever bought, but it behaves just as well as um, the black one. So we're going to use this. Wow, that's a full fill. I'm loving how it looks with this blue on the blue. So I was thinking about it and I actually don't like that all of the confetti is kind of cluttered in one location. I would like to see how these are made, but I kind of wished it was spread out more, but I guess this is kind of like the whole point of a unique aspect to it. Like each pen is different. So Goldspot said that they only had 300, but they're not numbered for a limited edition. So I don't know exactly what that means for if it's special edition or limited edition. It is exclusive to their store. And I did look on the website like 20 minutes ago and they said that their second shipment is coming in. So if you weren't able to get this the first time, you might have another chance. I'm gonna use my Hobonichi. Uh, weeks. I feel like this pen is kind of pricey for being a steel nib. On sale it was in the 120 range, but based on the resin and the artwork, I think that kind of justifies the price. But we don't know actually until we write with it. So it's pretty comfortable. Whoa, I like that this section is actually comfortable. I don't really run into the threads. But I actually find it quite comfortable Ugh, like this. I like to post my pens. Okay, I like it. It's not too heavy. It's, it's wow, that's like really light. And then this adds more weight to the back, but it kind of balances it out. This. Ooh is the the new talisman fountain pen exclusive to gold spot sakura fossils. Pretty even consistency with line variation. Wow. I don't know if that's the compacky. But I think it's also the pen that's really wet. I think this ink is a really good combo for this pen. I've been obsessed with cherry blossoms, especially because they remind me of spring, which might be why I kind of uh, stress bought this pen. But so far I don't regret it. What is it like on poster? It's wow, much lighter and less control. This is a medium, the quick brown. jumps over the lazy dog. My first feminine medium nib. Let's see if I can fit 
it inside the Fibonacci grid. Feedback. No. I mean, you can hear the pen for sure. So it's not scratchy. Feedback. It has feedback. I'm very happy with this. I want to feel how it feels with the um, Twisby. <gasps> Whoops. Oh, this is way different. The Twizzy has more feedback, I think. So maybe this doesn't really... This is actually very smooth. What else do we have inked up? Platinum. Oh boy. <laughs> this is a medium. Definitely different. This is the Narwhal. Navalor. Original Plus. Well, of the three nibs that I just tested, this one wins. For sure. I definitely recommend it. I can't wait to spend more time with it. I was afraid that this was going to be like, like too much unicorn, but I enjoy it. I think it looks really, really nice. It's very pretty. Thank you all for watching and let me know in the comments below what you think of this pen if you got one. And Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ask me anything I missed about this pen in the comments. I'm still getting used to making these kind of videos, so any feedback is appreciated. Until next time, see ya!